just checked into the resort and then traveled here to the Tarshir Sanctuary. We got rained on on the way here, but that's all part of the fun of the adventure. So we're just gonna wait till the rain stops and then hopefully we can see some Tarshirs. think of the Tarshirs? They're my babies. And their mother, that's why they're awake when Yaya arrived. They're so cute. This is the most alive I've ever seen them. I think it's it's because it just rained, so all of them were kind of awake, fluffing off their skin, fluffing off all their fur and stuff. So it was really cute. They were so cute today. They were so cute. After the Tarshirs, we went and enjoyed lunch on the Lobok River cruise. This is the man-made forest, apparently it was planted by, I forgot who it was planted by, but it was planted by people. So these trees are not naturally growing here. They were brought from seeds from South Africa. That's what I remember. And so this is it, the man-made forest. This is the famous Chocolate Hills. We're gonna go up the 200 steps to get to the top of the viewing deck. Just chilling here on a rock. We already took our signature photos in front of the thing. Now we're just watching the crowds of people come and leave. Take their photos and leave. What's it like seeing the chocolate hills in real life? So I don't get in it. Here we go, ATV adventure. day today right now this is our last activity we're gonna be going to watch fireflies
Good morning. We're enjoying a nice breakfast here on the porch. The river right out here. We're gonna travel a little bit further away today and see some cave pools, more beaches, I think. I was very in awe of the fireflies last night. I've seen fireflies before, like in the States. Yeah, they have a lot, but not like grouped all in a tree like we, we saw last night. They were all grouped. They were all blinking at the same time. I didn't know that fireflies would blink at the same time. And then you could see the stars above. It was so pretty. Off to adventures. We have just arrived at our first destination of the day at the Kabagnao Cave Pool, I think is what it's called. Let's check it out. All right, here's one of the cave pools. I think this is Kabagnao Cave Pool, but it's closed right now so you can't jump in. They're fighting over who owns the land on this place, so they don't have this place registered, so I guess you're not allowed to jump in right now and they have caretakers here. So if you jump in right now, you can't get out. So I'm not gonna jump in, but look how pretty it is. And there's no one here. And now to the second cave pool where we can actually jump in. Jump up. Checking out this beach really quick. So nice, the sand is so nice. So fine, very white, fine sand. There's no one here, no entrance here, anything. Looks like a lot of people just park their boats here for fishing. You want to go to a more unexplored area or not as many tourist people in this area, go to Anda in the, in the hall. Ice cream, ice cream. I'm leaving. I'm leaving Hannah. This is it. I have to leave Hannah and leave early. She's gonna stay here for a couple more days. But yeah, we have a rush project and we both decided it was I should take it, so <coughs> it's hard to leave. We'll see each other in another few days. Ah. <laughs> 